great job. And so now the hurdles have been moved up to the higher um, uh, notch, and we're getting ready for the men's 110-meter hurdles. 42 inches high to be exact, as you can see all the officials uh, moving them to the right spots as well as moving those hurdles up. And boy, do we have a lot of stories here, mm -hmm. Carrie, okay? Uh, we have a nice field, but we've got some really big names that are that are, are here. We can start with Omar McLeod of Jamaica, the 27-year-old, as a gold medalist from the 2016 Rio Olympics. He also won the World Championships the next year. And then there he is. That is Aries Merritt, the world record holder at this event, who has been through so much. Merritt won the, uh, won the, uh, won the Olympic Games. He is... Uh, the world record holder, but went through a long battle of kidney ailment, which resulted in a kidney transplant given to him by his sister. He missed some time, has been out taking care of other family members, but it's been nearly two years since Aries has competed. He has a best of 1340 this year, but I just for some reason don't think he's counting that race. Seems to me like his attitude is that this is really my first race of the year. So Aries Merritt, the Olympic champion and the world record holder, is back on the track. Well, listen, each and every race for him is a step forward. You know, he's been through a lot, like you said. He's had a life-altering, you know, event in his life. And I think that that's something that really brings you back. I'm, I'm excited to have him back yep. because, you know, he could have just said, my career was awesome. Yeah, and, <laughs> and that's I, it. And it's it. But he's back because this is his passion. This is what he lives for. And that's, so. o, and that's Omar McLeod there, Kerry, yep. the, the Jamaican uh, gold medalist from the Rio Games. And out there as well is Devin Allen, uh, who was one heck of a football player for the University of Oregon. But he decided, there's Devin, uh, he decided to uh, make his life all about track and field. Three-time U.S. champion going back to 2014, 16, and 18. And he won the, uh, two, he was an Olympian uh, for the Rio Games as well, but he was disappointed to finish fifth um, at those games. Just a talented athlete with lots of speed, great drive. Mm -hmm. and, uh, of course, trying to make sure he can find himself in that perfect hurdling form when he gets to the trials in five weeks. I think that's a big thing. He's got to find himself. You know, he hasn't quite been the Devin that we've seen in the right. past. And, you know, last year was a tough year for everyone where you weren't racing and you weren't really testing yourself and tweaking things. And so I think that we, every single time we step back on, we, to we, we you know, lace those shoes back up, get in the blocks, whatever it is, things start to come back. And yeah. I think every single race for him is a big opportunity to see if he can get back to that old self and even better. Right. So the American Track League providing really uh, some great competition and some very high level, very accomplished athletes to be out here on the track to try and work out some kinks, get some things together. As we look at the Olympic champion and world record holder, Aries Mary, 35 years of age. Listen, we have the 2012 Olympic Games champion. We have the 2016 Olympic gold medalist. That's pretty amazing right, right. here. That's right. And Devin Allen, just such a talented athlete. We saw last week where we had an NFL guy in the, in the field. Now, you know, we had a guy here, Devin Allen, who, who played football, switched over. His passion is here on the track. Yeah. Yeah, Devin really, really quite a talent there on the right with the three on his chest. Uh, as I mentioned, 2016 Olympian. Really, really disappointed to be fifth in the uh, Rio final. He was seventh at the 2019 World Championship. So he's been able to make teams, but he hasn't yet made the podium. Mm -hmm. So you know he's got to be thinking about that. But what must be going through the mind of Aries Merritt, number the four on his chest? You know, so hard when you've been there at the top. And then life happened for him, and he had to, you know, go through right. all of that. He's and won you, already, though. And if you look at his bib, the kidney that his sister gave him is literally in his abdomen, right wow. below that bib. Not on the side where your kidneys might be or toward the back. Okay. It's in his abdomen. Hmm. And as a hurdler, when I first heard that, imagine him diving as he goes over the hurdle. But he says it's not a problem at all. Okay, so we have a nice uh, field here. Uh, Jonathan Cabral in one. Jared Eaton, watch him, of the United mm -hmm. States, the 31-year-old in two. Devin Allen in three. Aries Merritt in four. Omar McLeod, the Olympic gold medalist from 2016 in five. And the field rounds it out. Let's watch what happens in the middle of the track. Fair start. Omar McLeod over the first hurdle looking very well. 
Devin Allen to the right trying to hang in there. Aries Merritt is behind, but Omar McLeod continues to hold the lead, and Omar McLeod will take the lead, take the win. 13-11 for McLeod. Devin Allen, 13-26. And Roberts is going to finish in 13-30. Aries Merritt, 1390. He finishes at six, so he still has some work to do. Still has some work to do. McLeod is excited. He said that he needed 2020. He was actually, he thought of it as a blessing, and so did his coach. Yeah, yeah. So right there in the middle of the track in the white jersey, and I mean, Omar McLeod is not the tallest guy, but he has so much power, looking confident, clearing those hurdles. And you can see him just behind there. Aries Merritt still kind of struggling. The speed is not there. The fitness is not there. But you know it could get there. But coming right at you. And Omar McLeod is known for drifting left and right. But he did a pretty good job this time of staying in his lane. I'm not sure if they fixed that or it's just by chance he didn't do it. But he has always been known for drifting. Stayed in his lane that time. Good job with Kept the win. Tight. And, yeah, and he's with Andrew. Oh, man. Omar, you got a big smile on your face. You're yeah. pretty happy about that one. Talk us through it. I'm very happy, man. I feel good to be back out there. Thank God for health. Yeah, you know, it's all about trust for me, like trusting my coach, trusting in my ability, mm -hmm. not focusing on nothing outside. And I just wanted to come out here and have fun again. And I did just that. And then I know once I'm healthy, happy, and I'm having fun, man, the sky's looming for me. So I'm very excited for that. There you go. I can feel the energy. It's great, man. Yeah. This, this field, though, is not, not a joke in any means. There's world record holders, gold medalists, yeah. Olympic champions. Like, how does that, how does that feel stepping into the, into the ring with those big boys? Absolutely not. I mean, this is what it's about. You know what I mean? We come out here, I have mad respect for everybody out there. I knew there's going to be a good race once Aries is lined up and Daniel Roberts, Devin Allen. I mean, the whole field entirely. So um, I'm happy that I'm able to come out here and get the win. There's a major confidence booster. This is my season opener, you know what I mean? So oh, I was like, man. it's time to get going. <laughs> That's great. And you say you're back, and I think yes. back is the right way to describe it. Omar McLeod, congratulations. He's your 110 hurdle champion. Thank you. Love you guys. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's, there's that. There's, that's him. That guy loves.